Um, okay, and so I guess we already talked a little bit about what your robot does. Um, do you guys have like in a little elevator speech you would say about it or is kind of just, you know, what the goal of the competition is? Um, so would you like us to describe like, the parts of the robot? Or? Sure, describe a little bit, I guess, about how you built it and what the goal is. Again, kind of like, I guess, the gamification of it, right? Like what, what you were assigned. Um, so, so, okay. so our robot, it had to fill up this giant rocket, not only like just fill it up, but fill it up within three minutes and better than any of the other teams. So in order to do that, we needed a fast robot that could also vary its height. In order to do this, um, we have three different subsystems on our or four different subsystems on our robot. The first one is the drivetrain. Uh, our drivetrain is six wheels with a drop center, allowing it to turn really quickly while also maintaining stability. And then the outer wheels are something called omni wheels or omnidirectional wheels, which allow them to go in all four directions, allowing our robot to slide with minimal friction. The next subsystem is the elevator. The elevator will go up and down to three different uh, heights, where the max height is the um, height of the third level cargo ball, which is the highest point we have to get to. Um, after that, in order to aid with aiming, we have the arm subsystem, which rotates around the elevator, um, allowing it to maneuver better, allowing like a better approach angle with the cargo ball and hatches. And finally, our end effector, or our fourth subsystem, features um, four rolling wheels that have, they're, they're made of rubber essentially, so they have high friction, allowing them to grab both the hatch panels and the cargo ball based on whether they're put inward or outward. And is then, it, is, oh, sorry, go ahead. Um, the drivetrain, it has two gear, gear modes. Um, our lower gear mode gives us higher torque, allowing us to push against robots, and our higher mode allows us to go faster so we can fill up the rocket when we're unobstructed. Are you, is it the same orange ball that everyone is going to have to use to fill up the rocket or is it, are you guys, did you select that ball because that size and the speed that your robot can do it like works fast? Um, the game pieces are standard across FRC. Okay. Thinking that could be a little bit of a strategy thing, but it sounds like they took that away from you. <laughs> um, okay, so who came up with the design? Uh, so every, it was... Oh, sorry. It was honestly everybody on the team. Everybody on the team came up with the. It was um, we all of us collaborated all the teams together before we actually started working on the robot. We sat down and had a design meet and we had some design meetings where we all talked about potential design ideas for the robot and which ones would be best. And so we proto so we sketched out a few designs and we prototyped them. And then based on whichever prototype worked better, we we used it. So it was essentially all the teams like everybody here essentially worked on building the design in some way or another. Did you find that when you guys came to that first meeting that there were a lot of you that had a similar idea or were there very different ideas across the board that you had to kind of try and prototype a few different options to see what you thought would work best? Um, a lot of the ideas, they were very different, but they fell into like similar groups. So like a lot of people had the same idea of using an end effector to grab a ball and also a hatch panel. Uh, another I common idea was using Velcro um, to grab the hatch and using pistons to push them off. And then, yeah, so we had like many different ideas that we eventually narrowed down. Also, based on um, like since this was a preseason tournament, this game, people had already built robots for this. So we also had ideas based on some other teams based on how what the best design would be and what works the best. Okay.